Happy Wednesday, beautiful souls, wherever you are on this phenomenal planet. It is time for Shift Your Thinking Daily, where we transform our inner experience to a phenomenal outer experience for now. 10 minutes of our day, we do it together. Before we jump into today's message, let's go ahead and take a couple deep breaths. Join me, breathe in and out. One more, breathe in and out. Okay, let's go ahead and make sure you turn on post notifications. Uh, subscribe, like, and share at LA Super Agent on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and LinkedIn. Make sure you're connected to our radio podcasts on all your favorite platforms, including iTunes, Apple Podcasts, Google Play, Anchor FM, and Spotify, and so much more. If you're new to the show, say hi, say hello, welcome. My name is Lisa Porto, also known as Super Agent, and I'm creator and founder of many cool things, projects, courses, curriculums, conferences, summits, so much more, including our now very own Ready Set Real Estate show, which supports our nonprofit Real Estate 100 Youth Foundation. Okay. Go ahead and hashtag your mood. Let me know how you're feeling right at this moment. Remember, this is where we can just really focus on what's going on, how we're feeling, what we're thinking, and relate. Relate to that. My mood is one of gratitude. I may have said gratitude before you guys, but I truly am grateful. There are some things that are transpiring in my life. I've come a long way and to remain true to myself. uh, this This is such a wonderful, wonderful place to be because there's that relearning myself. There's a discovery mode that's happening. And it's a great feeling. So I'm grateful for that. All right. So if I if I play out saying I'm grateful, then you know, that's my prerogative. <laughs> okay. We're continuing our segment, uh, our series from Dean Del Sesto, Shift Your Thinking, 200 Ways to Improve Our Life. And you guessed it, there's 200 ways in this book, which means at the completion of this episode, we will have 200 ways. Hello, 200 episodes. Um, At the completion of the series, we'll have 200 episodes. Sometimes I catch myself with what I'm saying. And this episode is episode 176 that I'm going to caption. I'm going to caption payback. Is it worth it? I'm in the section where he says, Vengeance is mine, saith the board. He says paybacks, no matter how they go, why is it we're the ones who pay a price? You think about that for a second, where you are going through the motion of thinking you're going to pay somebody back. You're going to get them back. Oh, they owe you. You're going to get it. But really, you're now vesting all this time, this energy, but what is it worth it? He says, within a world of diversities, blended cultures in all walks of life and all states of mind, it's easy to accept that we will be offended by others' behaviors or their differences hundreds, if not thousands of times before we leave this world. The idea that we will somehow be able to avoid others tromping on our emotional, mental, or physical turf is simply unrealistic. In fact, if we get through a day or two without someone rubbing us the wrong way, consider it a flat out miracle. Think about that, right? I mean, are we getting through the day without somebody not really 
<sighs> getting on our nerves or like he said rubbing us the wrong way this is where a lot of the EQ comes into play because this is about self-reflection is it you why are they triggering you right? or I go back to basic needs if I find myself feeling triggered I ask myself is it because am I tired am I hungry am I sleepy what's going on with Lisa's basic needs Am I dehydrated? What do I need? He says, in fact, if we get through a day or two without someone rubbing us the wrong way, consider it a flat out miracle. Life is complex enough without investing valuable time, energy, and resources into the ridiculous sport of offense re reciprocation. It's the bored and the visionless who plan to make offenders pay in some subtle or perhaps serious way. Conversely, those with vision and purpose don't have time for vengeance as they value their time and precious mental and emotional resources and they govern their feelings by not letting others have ownership of them. Mm. Isn't that funny when we reflect on that is that we are then giving control to someone else. You know, there's this thing, there's so much power between, you know, I see this a lot in marketing and advertising and w people don't really know the significance that if in the advertising and the marketing or the propaganda, depending on what it is, it is to arouse an emotion out of you. It is arouse, it is created for you to emote and react because if they can control your emotion, then they can control your thinking, your logic, your action. He says, those of real character will more often than not use their strength to seek reconciliation rather than revenge and perhaps scrutinize how they may have contributed to the offense in the first place. He says, offenses are a two-way street. 95% of the time, and as for vindictiveness, a dead end street, perhaps literally. All right, I like this one. This was a good one. This was timely. Someone needed to hear it. I needed the reminder. Sometimes it's not worth it. It's not worth it. I've got way too much things going on using my energy to be creative and productive a wonderful being, a wonderful spiritual being in this worldwide web we call planet Earth and the universe. And I know what I'm putting out is good seeds. You know, we, we spoke about this yesterday, this whole thing about you reap what you sow. You know, what are you putting out in terms of your spiritual escrow? You don't want to cancel out your spiritual escrow at the expense of and the ex, at the expense and listen to that at the price of trying to get someone to pay for something they did to you you know what comes to mind if you think about this thing we call karma karma is both good and bad remember that karma knows no no class no race no creed karma is energy that reciprocates both good and bad. Ask yourself, is it worth it to be in this cycle of payback when you could be investing your energy, being more loving and productive in other people and things? All right, that's my time, beautiful souls. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Turn on the post notifications. Really appreciate you. Love you, love you, love you. Have a powerful and productive day. I'll see you tomorrow as we continue Shift Your Thinking. Bye. See you next time. <laughs>